Same because I was a cave diver. And our argument always was if you have a bad day, you have like 15 to 30 seconds at most to figure out your little problem or it ceases to be a problem. <laughs> I'm Air Force, and our saying was we have a 100% record, we have never left anybody up there and the ground will always catch you. <laughs> As a cave diver, I have the luxury of time. And as an engineer, I want to try to fix things. There's always something left to do. I flew in the Air Force, and you know, there's always, you should be doing bolt face procedures all the way into the ground. And so I really like the fact that if I had a bad day, the odds were pretty good that I would have enough air to keep working the problem and figure it out. Versus these skydivers that just rock check. <laughs> what would be your first initial thoughts if you were stuck in a submarine at the bottom of the ocean? Toastmaster, right here. Oh, my. I didn't hear the question, but here's my answer. <laughs> gargantuan idea. <laughs> I have a gargantuan idea. I don't want to antagonize anyone in here. Uh, anybody in here? Latino? Hispanic? Yeah. Okay, let's get that. Uh, what about Polish? Anybody here Polish? Polish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Funny you don't look Polish. <laughs> anyway, okay, so. Titanic. They had to, unfortunately, under Carson's situation, there was only one life vest in the airplane going down. And a major at the control center. This is a pretty good story if you give me enough time to tell it. Go <laughs> <laughs> watching that clock for me. You know, I'll tell you afterwards wow. if you want to come up. <laughs> Did you cry in the movie Titanic? Toastmaster, Christy Marie. Oh, hi. I don't know. I'm not one of my friends, and I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Good ride. Good start. It's the Titanic. And um, it was a movie that I did not. Did you cry in the movie Titanic? No, I absolutely cried. Yes, I've seen that a million times, and I've heard every cry. Um, and I've always been supporting when people say they haven't seen the Titanic. It breaks my heart. Please see if you have it. <laughs> if you had the ability, would you risk your life to save the five passengers? Toastmaster Tom Barry. Why my best to I'm sorry, I lost my point. But I keep a selfish man. If you had the ability, would you risk your life to save the five passengers? Yes, I would. I would do everything possible. I'd use every bit of technology. I would use any kind of person available with those kind of skills. And I would do, I would say I would risk my, my life to save those people.
Do you think it's right for a rich woman to date a poor man? Post that anyway. Mark Wright. Where's the Titanic in this one? Do you think it was a good idea to go on an expedition like that? Toastmaster, Benjamin Duruti. I think that the people have a lot of money and a lot of time and they want to do weird things. So I think that they can take the risk for them. It's almost zero. They want to experiment everything. They buy it. $200,000 just to go to the sky. Good thing that nothing has happened because no one is going to recover anyone if the missile uh, burst in the middle of the space. But at least here in, in our Earth planet, we can go and uh, see some of the remnants of the submarine. But not when you go up. And this is why having so much money having so much idle time, sometimes it is not a good idea. This is why I'm not a rich person. <laughs> Do you think it was an actual ship sunken at the bottom of the ocean, or it was all made up? <laughs> well, uh, I do think there is some treasure in the in the ship. I I, I know that uh, millions. Of, I know that people spent millions of dollars to explore the shipwreck on the, on the ocean floor, and some sometimes, but every time they. Uh, they try to find something. They they could they just find the the broken plates and bowls, but uh, but it's still like uh, it's it's expiring people to to go down uh, to go downstairs and take take a look at the shipwreck. Uh, it ha it has become a good business now. So I'm uh, I'm sad like people making business like uh, like going downstairs and and look at the tragedy that happened. I mean, uh, like a uh, hundred years ago, but uh, hope. Uh, but I do wish those who who are interested can find the treasure on the ship. Very good. <laughs> right. Got a dag joke type of question. 
What type of salads did they serve on the Titanic? <laughs> Toastmaster Lonnie <Lonnie-Pound>. Powell. <laughs> <laughs> Hot sauce. What type of salad?